everyone, welcome back to my channel for day 14 of the 25 boxes of Christmas. I am so excited, it's getting closer and closer to Christmas, can you believe it? If you've missed any of my last 13 unboxings, I have a playlist created and you can check that out in the description box below. I am also doing 25 separate giveaways during this series. So make sure that you check out all 25 videos that I'm going to be posting so you don't miss an opportunity to enter into a giveaway. For day 14, let's go ahead and do this green one. Oh, okay. I was like, what is it? It's just a white box. This is the Bad Alibi book box. I'm so curious about this one. It's for mystery thriller lovers. I've never seen it reviewed before, so I have no idea what kind of content to expect in this box. So let's go check it out. The Bad Alibi book box. I cannot wait to see what's inside of it, but first I have to go over the information for any of you guys who are curious about this box. I know that I am. It definitely is a monthly mystery slash thriller book box subscription. It is $39.99 a month, and I paid around $8 for shipping. You will get a recently mystery slash thriller novel, as well as three to five themed items, one short story, one mini mystery riddle. And it says that apparently you can be paid for it. So I don't know how that works. I guess we'll figure it out when we get inside. And each box is supposed to have a value between $80 and $100. I don't think this is gonna be like the Hunt a Killer subscription box that I've seen out there. I have never done that one before, but I really want to, because it's like right up my alley, just right up my alley. And I think it'd be a great fun activity with the family, but we'll see how this one is. See what kind of mysterious items are gonna be in this one. I love the name of the box too. I mean, you're talking about mysteries and thrillers and people have bad alibis or no alibis. Oh, I love it. What do we have here? Twisted Parallels. Okay, so this is their product card, I guess. That's cute. Ready to solve the bad alibi mystery? Here are the items and the amazing people who created them. Use hashtag bad alibi unboxing when posting photos and tag the creators. Uh, this thing is really big and popping out, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. This is like a little baggy pouch thing. It says, this contains secrets, lies, and tales of murder. That's awesome. I guess so something to keep all of your documents in. <laughs> this is a cool item here. What does it say about it? Ooh, it's a book sleeve. That makes sense. But I think you could also use it for documents and stuff. I like the way it closes at the top to help keep everything nice and secure in there. Although it can't get it back on. There we go. It would have to go for a smaller book though. I don't see it having much give for a large book. Next item something with a spray. This is the Bad Alibi book box, reading past your bedtime for when a dark twist keeps your pages turning. Okay, so it's a room and linen spray. It's supposed to smell like apples and spooky spices. I guess let's give it a try. I am getting some apple scent out of there. Next, ooh, this looks like a fun bookmark. Kind of one of the crazier kind of bookmarks that I see in Coffee and a Classic where it like hooks onto the page or something like that. I think AJ Skelly is the one that created this. They have a little business card in there, but that's really cool. It's got a little pumpkin on it. I wonder if this was the Halloween box. I have no idea. Okay, what do we have here? Mini mystery. Okay, I'll get to that in a minute. Next is a headband. Interesting. I guess the headband's where you tie it on yourself. And it just says, Bad Alibi book box all over it. I see some blood, fingerprints, knives. This is a headband that I would actually wear compared to some of the others that I receive in a book box. All right, what is this? Oh, I think this is my short story, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice by Ali Sarah. That's cute. I have to give that a read after I'm done unboxing. Ooh, I love the paper it's printed on. You can see the little jack-o'-lanterns coming through on the page. Next, dear reader, 
I don't know you, but I wrote this book for you. After many years of wandering the narrative labyrinth, so to speak, I finally willed this novel into being. It was the kind of story I wanted to read and I thought I might not be alone in that. So I hope it resonates with you, that you find yourself or your own story in one of the turns somewhere. And if you have any questions, if you argue with yourself or other readers over the gold persimmon or decide to read it again, that just puts the cherry on my Sunday. Speaking of Sundays, I hope you'll enjoy the compendium of cocktail and mocktail recipes I'm sending along as a little treat to complement the copy of The Gold Persimmon. The only thing better than reading a good book is reading a good book with a fabulous beverage in your hand. I love that letter from the author, Cocktail Compendium, The Gold Persimmon. So in here is a cocktail list. I don't drink very often, but I do like having cocktails or mixed drinks. I definitely prefer them to drinking something straight. Ah, The Gold Persimmon. And I believe that's the name of the book. The book this month is called The Gold Persimmon. So let's go ahead and give that a look. <laughs> yeah, The Gold Persimmon. I can't even pronounce the name of the... I'm just gonna say C, because I cannot pronounce it. C is a check-in girl at The Gold Persimmon a temple-like New York City hotel in gilded furnishings and carefully guarded secrets. Cloistered in her own reality, Cly, oh, Cly, I guess they call her Cly for short. Cly lives by a strict set of rules until a connection with a troubled hotel guest threatens the world she's so carefully constructed. In a parallel reality, an inexplicable fog envelops the city, trapping a young, non-binary writer named Jamie in a sex hotel with six other people. As the survivors begin to turn on one another, Jamie must investigate a deadly game of cat and mouse. Haunted by specters of grief and familiar shame, Jamie and Clive find themselves trapped in the dual narratives in the gripping experimental novel. I mean, it definitely sounds like an interesting read. I like the idea of having a parallel investigation going on. I don't know that I've really read anything quite like that that I can recall, so I'm open to it. I love mystery and thrillers. I tend to get to those kinds of books first before I move on to other books. Okay, for the little mini mystery, it says, what is something you'll only use once and dread the time you'll need it? Something that once used, you'll never see the user again, and something you can help prepare for others, but never yourself. Oh, interesting. Okay, so maybe readers of the subscription are the ones writing the little riddles. Maybe that's how you can get paid, is to write one yourself. So that's a clever little riddle there. I'll put the mystery up there, but I won't put the answer. I thought that was a pretty fun box. Let me know what you thought of the Bad Alibi book box down in the comments below. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more from this subscription. Are you a mystery thriller lover? I'd love to know. I thought it was a pretty interesting box. And let's move on to the giveaway. Just have another black box. The winner will get to choose seven of the items that are in here. Let's just see what we got. W and E hand cream. This is a combined thing. It is a key ring and also earrings from the Wizarding World. I also have some Dungeons and Dragons socks. This is a primordial primer gel, rose hip oil antioxidant. Oh, a little candle. Ooh, I remember when I first got this, I thought it was potpourri, but it's really a detox bubble bath. So I think those are bath salts in there also with some flowers. This is a tea. The main ingredient in this one is chamomile, but it is a tea. We have a natural soap bar. This is a plant-based sustainable hair care bar. This is a combined set of My Heart Belongs to Etienne St. Clair. This will be for anyone who loved reading the Anna and the French Kiss book. This is a little tiny black canvas bag. Love is the one thing that transcends time and space. You and Oil Carrot Broccoli Chia. Pinch Me Therapy Dough, which I have not used this one, and it still says Pinch Me on there. I think this one has the scent of lavender. A Pure Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil. The last thing in here is a My Effin Swear Jar. Sarcasm is my first language, cursing is my second. These are the items that the winner will get to choose from. You'll only get to choose seven of them. There was a lot packed into that little box. 
<laughs> okay, for this giveaway, you need to be 18 or older. You need to live within the United States, live within a state that allows giveaways. You need to be publicly subscribed to my channel, and you need to use the code word mystery down in the description box. No, down in the comments below. Why do I keep saying description box? Probably because all of the information about this giveaway and the book box will be in the description box below. The giveaway starts today and it ends January 5th. On January 6th, I will announce the winners of all 25 giveaways. So please make sure that you write down on a sticky note somewhere that you have entered into my giveaway so that you don't forget to check back on January 6th. Thank you for supporting me during the 25 boxes of Christmas. It has been such a great series so far. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and I'll be back tomorrow for day 15. Can you believe it? Bye.